the Army is the greatest fighting force in the world. When someone thinks of the Army, this is what they see in their mind. The end result, soldiers engaging the enemy and completing their mission, is the greatest team in the world and I am proud to be on it. But you won't see me in this video. I, like so many countless others, support the fight from other perspectives. And don't get me wrong, I've picked up my weapon and stood watch many times like so many of my colleagues have. My primary mission is to provide support to those who are on the front lines. Our profession has come under fire the past few years as those in Washington have scrutinized money in the military. I guess the ban is an easy target for lawmakers. I believe that that target becomes harder and harder to take down as people learn just what value my job adds to the Army. We are soldiers too, and we are one of the greatest assets the Army has in reaching outside of the military and translating the Army story to the general public. This is the story of Army bans. This is me, right before I had the honor to drum major the 399th Army Band onto the field at Bush Stadium in St. Louis last fall. The band played the national anthem that night in front of 40,000 people, as well as a large television audience. Appearances like this one are so critical when it comes to winning the hearts and minds of the regular American citizens all across the country. Now, the percentage of those even eligible to serve in the military is approximately 30%. And of those 30%, not all enlist. 7 out of 10 people do not even meet the standards for military service. That is a large portion of the American population. To those outside of the military, there are misconceptions to what those in the military do, and people like me help to bridge the gap through community outreach. Here I am again marching the 399th Army Band on Fort Leonard Wood for a change of command ceremony. Now, I've served in the Army for 14 years, and I am proud to say that I have had an amazing career so far. I absolutely love my job, and on any given day, I get to play music, mentor, coach and lead the soldiers under me, engage members of the community, perform ceremonies, perform public concerts, accomplish soldier tasks such as weapons qualification, and above it all, have fun. The career path for an Army Bandsman is so unique and very rewarding. Now I'd like to give you some insight into the career of a soldier musician. Bandsmen enlist as E-4s in the Army. In a typical 20-year career, one can promote to the highest enlisted rank of Sergeant Major within our field. The special bands in Washington, D.C. and at West Point are a little bit different as someone selected as a member joins the Army as an E-6. A typical band career will be filled with NCO development schools, auditions, a large variety of assignment options, potential nominative type assignments, possible deployments, and many friends made along the way. Not including special bands, there are only approximately 1,300 active duty musicians serving in the Army. This is approximately 4 one hundredths of a percent of all of those on active duty. Throughout it all, you grow, mature, develop, gain life experiences and perspectives that are unparalleled. From our nation's capital, the premier musical organization of the United States Army. The United States Army Band, Pershing Zone. United States Army Band, the premier musical organization of the Senior Armed Service, delights audiences of all ages throughout the country and around the world. At the end of World War I, General of the Army's John J. Pershing returned to U.S. soil inspired by the famous military bands of Britain and France. 
In 1922, he gave the ensuing directive to organize and equip the Army Band. Well, there you have it. The Army Band was officially enacted in the 1920s following World War I. Since that time, Army bands have been involved in every major combat operation. Right now, there are 29 active duty bands and four special bands. We also have a training center at the School of Music in Virginia Beach, Virginia. We have 18 Army Reserve bands and 52 Army National Guard bands. It's approximately 103 bands total and equals out to about 5,000 musicians. Throughout history, Army bands have been in combat both as musicians and serving in other functions. Army bands have played for presidents, dignitaries, been featured on countless televised events, and have evolved into the relevant modular music support units that they are today. It doesn't matter what type of musical support is needed, an Army band is prepared to do it, and have always accomplished the mission throughout their history. What do army bands do in combat? This group of soldier musicians known as the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse filmed this into Crit Iraq back in 2011. When a soldier deploys, live music has proven to be one of the best morale lifters as it gives the soldier a sense of home. This band would pack a bombed out stadium every weekend with thousands of soldiers that needed that release from their combat mission. This is the value the army bands have added to the combat support mission throughout modern history of battle. But like I mentioned before, we also stand guard alongside our fellow soldiers and have performed every known soldier task in combat throughout the global war on terror. To date in the modern conflict, hundreds of bandsmen are combat veterans to include myself. Over 20 different bands have performed combat tours with many serving in multiple campaigns. Every single type of band has been deployed to include National Guard, Reserve, Regular Army, and Special Bands. So the most crucial question to ask in all of this is what do army bands do every day at home? What justifies their existence? Well, I'm going to let our actions speak louder than words. Four. Ladies and gentlemen, I'll pause for a moment to sing God Bless America. We are led this evening by Sergeant Christine Permenter, vocalist with the Maneuver Support Center of Excellence and the Fort Leonard Wood 399th Army Band. God bless America, land that I love. Stand beside her and guide her through the night with the light from above. Moments like these where we can thank our service members and veterans. Some of the uh, floats come before some of those, per, per, those marching bands uh, stop by to entertain the president. Uh, let's listen in right now.
Ladies and gentlemen, please rise to honor America and those who support our freedom at home and abroad. The presentation of the colors is provided by the Joint Services Color Guard. And now, please welcome the U.S. Army Herald Trumpets from the U.S. Army Band Pershing's Own, joined by musicians from Ball State University, Indiana University, and Purdue University for the performance of our national anthem. Insiders know what value army bands bring to the fight. As well as those in the local communities, they get to enjoy the support that army bands provide on a day-to-day -day basis. I leave you now with the same motivational video that I started with. Only this time, I'm going to put it on mute. Because what you're going to see is what the army would be without music. Music.